Hey folks, Fox here. We've got Eldar versus Orcs. So we've got some squads of uh, uh, Grots, we've got uh, those tank busters of the squigs with the bombs, there's some tractor cannons and various different artillery back there. That big landing craft has a ton of big uh, Orcs in it. Um, the little, actually the large rockets, those are uh, the Coptas. We've got some more uh, Grots with... Uh, some more uh, tank busters. This one was Maelstrom, the second mission. That was uh, contact lost. So as you uh, you know gain an objective, the following turn at the very beginning, if you're holding it, uh, you get basically a um, uh, a mission card, which is kind of neat. So I brought out with uh, basically my night spinners. I brought out uh, three, you know, four wave serpents with some dire avengers in it, and just a spirits here to kind of lead them. I also brought out um, three jets and some swooping hawks, so I kind of played around with the four sarga a little bit. So it's an unbound list. Uh, so I got two night wings and two or and one crimson hunter. So I pushed forward and uh, took some of the objectives and fired a lot on the tank busters on the right side of the table and uh, either side of the table. I've also fired using the shields from the wave serpents to lock down those. Um, or the artillery, because I wasn't too sure on how they'd kind of uh, affect my units, and especially with my uh, jets eventually coming in, I really wanted to make sure I wasn't going to get ripped to pieces. So he did push forward, uh, claiming some of the objectives for his own. Um, the Grotz moved up here. There's some Grotz inside that building at the very bottom holding an objective. Um, I didn't really want to get too close quite yet, because I wasn't sure what was going to happen with that large... Um, landing craft, uh, which is a battle wagon, and all the orcs are going to be spilling out of there with their two plus saves, and the war boss with the lucky stick, and the weird boy. So, um, the, I did kind of fire a little bit of exchange back and forth. Uh, I mostly jinked, which was good. I kind of saved my butt there. And then I did take a few wounds off of a unit here and there for the most part. Now, on the far left hand side here, or where I brought my uh, jets on, I've been, again, trying to fire at uh, all the tank busters and I had to dump off my dire avengers I had to dump off my uh, swooping hawks and everything just to kind of get rid of them and, and cut them down to, to nothing and that took quite a bit of fire um, now what happened was some of the uh, uh, firing that I did manage to get on top of the uh, war uh, Battle Wagon did eventually destroy it, but then all of his guys were out. So I continued to fire everything into them. Didn't really do much. I moved my uh, way, uh, my night spinners up to kind of take the brunt of their assault because I, I knew they weren't gonna. It wasn't gonna last, and I had to sacrifice something. So once I did that, then I just surrounded them with every single unit I had on that side of the table and opened up with everything I had. And it took two rounds of shooting to get through all those two plus saves and. The, the damned lucky stick. <laughs> but it was it was hard to do. Um, Grotz moved up. They fired and took out my poor little dire Avengers with little Henry still sitting there all by himself. He managed to survive uh, uh, one hail of fire. As I uh, kind of pushed the orcs back, I moved up and uh, took on some of the objectives for myself. And this is where my push came from, and I started to really collect a lot of points. So I lost poor little Henry dude there. He, he's gonna he's just sitting there for now, but those grots are gonna open up on him and, and basically evaporate him. Uh, when it came to the big orcs in the middle there, the um, the the mechs and the war boss and all them, I managed to cut them down to uh, only two, and they managed to run away. So that was that was kind of nice. Uh, I really needed them out of there. Uh, more firing went to the grots at the base of that building and managed to get them to run off. Uh, I did lose again the two night spinners to the assault. But, uh, and, and a few uh, hull points came off here and there. Now, one thing I didn't mention is that there was a bomber at the, in his list, uh, but it, it was the first thing he brought on. It was on the far left of the table where my uh, wave serpent was, where you saw those uh, swooping hawks come in. And he bombed um, the, the wave serpent, but he, he rolled two ones on the first time trying out the, this, this jet, and it smashed right into my uh, wave serpent. didn't do any damage. But um, our whole thought was, okay, so they told them to look for the whites of their eyes, but they're in tanks, so he just kept diving. Um, overall, it ended with uh, a 15 
to uh, five win for the Eldar. Fantastic game. Always enjoy going up against the orcs because it's either uh, one side or the other, <laughs> and it's always a lot of fun. So hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will talk to you later. Bye now.